Hello, buenos, buenos días, buenas tardes, buenas noches. Este es tiempo por la clase de español. This is time to learn some more Spanish. And uh, we vamos a empezar con el tener verb. We're going to begin with the, the Spanish verb tener. And so this lesson is on tener. And tener means to have. So to have, let's think of that. Okay, tener. And we can use that in many different expressions. Let's see if I can get over here so you can see a little better. Um, tengo 20 años. Okay, we learned about the uh, numbers. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez, veinte, twenty, okay? Uh, tengo, that means I have, over here, uh, in English we say I am twenty years old, but in Spanish you have twenty years, okay? And so you say, tengo veinte años, so tengo veinte años. Then, tango frío. So it can be used in other ways. Tango frío, I am cold. Tango frío. Tango calor, I am hot. Well, not hot. Hot. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. Uh, should change that the same color, I suppose. <laughs> Here we go. I am hot, that would be Tango calor. Okay, just uh, repeating these with me, it helps, okay? This verb is a verb that you're going to use all day, many times a day when in Spanish, okay? So we'll uh, just get this where we know it really good. You know there's a dance called the tango, and uh, tango, I have this dance. Maybe you can think about that. Some way to remember tango, okay? So uh, let's do that again, this here. Tengo 20 años. I have 20 years, okay? Tengo frío. I am cold. Tengo calor. I am hot. All right. Then tener, and of course tener uh, up here, that's the main verb. We always have er at the end in Spanish, and that er there is the equivalent to the two. All right, so whenever you have the ER at the end there like that, it's the infinitive. That means that it's the to have, to have, like we say in English, okay? Well, now, so tener, of course, has also many, uh, it can mean like I have something, okay? Tengo and tengo un amigo. Or if it's a girl, uh, I have a friend, tengo una amiga, okay, would be a if it was for a girl. Tengo uh, una amiga, okay, but tengo un amigo, I have a friend. So let's all say that, tengo un amigo, you have at least one friend, right? Tengo un amigo, all right, amigo means friend, so just keep thinking, amigo, friend. And you probably heard that term somewhere if you've been around Spanish at all, but now you know what it means, okay? Then you are also, the way I like to think of this is you are a yo-yo. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you can see that on there, but uh, it, oops, the other direction. Okay, there's kind of a bright spot or something there, but uh, this here is tango, yo tango. Okay, there, the, uh, there it is. Okay, you can see it a little better. Uh, yo tango, I have, okay? So you are a yo-yo, just think of yourself as a yo-yo, see? Yo there, that means I, yo, yo tango, okay? Now after real, really, you don't have to say the, the yo after a while in Spanish, it's just to help you remember what it means, yo means I. And uh, tango, when you put the O at the end, I put a little face on it because that, that is for you, I, okay? Uh, I have, 
Yo tengo. I have. Okay, let's go to the next one. Tu tienes. Okay, that means you have, but it's familiar. It's like who we'd talk to, the family, and that sort of thing. Uh, uh, so then we have the, the polite form down here, usted tiene. Okay, and that one, when you have usted tiene, go the right direction, there we go. Usted tiene, uh, you have. That's the polite way of saying it, usted. Now this stands for ustedes. Uh, our usted, usted you, uh, is really, uh, but in Spanish you abbreviate it, capital U, D, period. Okay, usted. And then, <clears throat> uh, you have, that's polite, then you would say, el tiene. Okay, el tiene, like he has. But we want to say, he has, let's see, el tiene, right here, el tiene, he has. Now next time I write this, I'll try to write it a little, spread it out a little more, give you a little more room. But <clears throat> then ella tiene, okay, here we go. Yeah, I think we lost this for a minute. Uh, ella tiene, she has, and then we have, uh, all right, the next one is nosotros tenemos. Here we go. Nosotros tenemos. We have. All right. Then you have plural. Ustedes tienen. Let's all say that. Ustedes tienen. That's kind of like you all, the way we say it in English. You all. Uh, Spanish, ustedes tienen. Okay. And then ellos tienen. Right here, if you can see it there. And like I said, next time I'll write it a little bit larger so you can see. They have, this is talking about the boys, ellos. They have. Then ellas tienen, they have, and the girls. Okay, so we uh, will go over this verb again. And this is lesson five, and I was trying to do it, uh, have these lessons on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, but that doesn't always work out. So you look for the next lesson as it comes up, and uh, today uh, we're on the actually the fifth lesson, and then in a day or so we'll have the sixth lesson like that. But hopefully you'll be with us, and let's try it going over again. We're learning a verb <clears throat> that you're going to use every day, okay? I'm sure of that. And Spanish. So let's go over it again. Tener means to have. Let's all say that. Tener means to have. Remember when it has the ER at the end, okay, that means to. So we have ER here. It means always, it means the to. But when you change it, like here with the O, tango, then you're saying yo tango. In other words, I have, and some places they say pronounce it yo, but I have, and so we're just a way to remember it. Uh, you're a yo-yo now, so you can will remember yourself. Oh yeah, yo, I'm a yo-yo. Okay, you're a double yo-yo. <laughs> you're a yo-yo. All right, that's how you can remember tango, uh, because it's really yo tango. When you have the o at the end, that means that. I have, yo tengo. Then, let's go over, you don't have to always look at it, but you can think about it right now. Okay, <clears throat> so, tu tienes, tu means you, kind of rhymes tu and you, okay, tu tienes. But now you'll notice here, it has to have an accent mark over the, the you. If it doesn't, then it means your. So accents in Spanish are very important. And if you don't use the accents, you spell it wrong. Okay, in English, we, we don't really use, we use accents, but we don't write them. Spanish, we write them for reasons, okay? If it's not spelled, uh, well, if it means a different word, then you can change it. And so, here we go. Now, the next one, uh, let's go to, uh, yo, usted tiene, you have, that was the polite part, okay? Now let's do el tiene, say that with me, el tiene, that means he has, okay, uh, 
in English we're changing now to, from I have to, of course, he has, uh, when we're saying he, L, again, you have to put the accent over the E or it means the. But when you put the accent over it, that means he, okay? L T N E. he has. Aya doesn't have any accent, it means she. Aya Tiani, okay? And maybe I better put this so you can see that again. There we go, all right. Okay, Aya Tiani, she has. Then let's go down to the bottom. Nosotros tenemos. And that is, nosotros is we. Nosotros is we, okay? Right here, we have, nosotros tenemos, so we can say that. Now again, as you go along, you know what? Spanish is so easy there, you'll just say tango, and you know that means I have, you don't have to do the yo, really. Uh, that's just more emphasis, and tu tienes, you don't have to really remember the, the tu here, you just remember tienes, and uh, that's familiar. Uh, tiene is formal. If you just say tiene, that would mean you have, polite. And then el tiene, well, you could say tiene, but in this case here, it could be a boy or a girl. So it's better to say el tiene here. That would mean he has, ella tiene, she has, okay. And then we go down to nosotros. Nosotros, we have. Nosotros, just repeat that several times and you'll get it. Tenemos, okay, so you don't need to have nosotros really, that's just to emphasize it, but you could say tenemos, we have, okay. Now you'll have ustedes tienen, that would mean like you all have, okay. And then ellos tienen, that would mean the boys have. Ellos tienen, that would mean the girls have. Okay, do you see how many things that you can say using this verb, tener? Okay, I have. Just think of the, all the things you could go around and say once you have this verb. So, tener, to have, okay. Tango, I have, okay. Tu tienes, or tiene, and that's he, or, uh, your friend has, tienes, okay, you have. Uh, tien, el tiene, that would be he has. Ella tiene, she has. Nosotros tenemos, we have. Uh, tienen, ellos tienen, they have the boys. Okay, ellas tienen, the girls. All right, ustedes, you all have. Okay, uh, I hope this helps and uh, Hasta la próxima lección, until the next lesson. And these are free Spanish lessons. I hope you're enjoying these. And uh, send me a, a, a greeting if you can, and I appreciate it. Thank you for being with us. Adios.